painted this dresser with Debbie's DIY and weathered gray. Now I'm going to show how to decoupage fabric onto it using DIY Paints Liquid Patina. It's an awesome top coat and it works as a decoupage medium as well. Got a picture of it on my phone and in the next frame you're going to see what it looks like. I put the fabric in the drawers just to sort of get an idea of how I wanted the order to lay out. I've cut out all the fabric and I've done a dry fit on this. So now I'm going to go ahead and iron it. And if you see here, what I've done instead of just cutting it is I've actually torn it. I cut it and then ripped each piece because I want a kind of a frayed edge. And you can accentuate this just by taking a pin and picking at the edge of it. So I'm going to go ahead and iron all of these. Um, before I actually put them down, um, we're going to decoupage them. I'm going to put one coat of Lacou Patina which by the way you open brush them into another container because you don't want to contaminate the can and just brush it on or rub it in and there's no smell and it's super easy but because this is an all-natural product and it is a clay based paint there's a little bit of dust that will come up so in order to avoid getting any of that onto my fabric I'm gonna seal it first with one coat of the liquid patina then we're gonna go ahead and use it to decoupage the fabric on. So I cut the holes in the fabric, just teeny little tiny holes like that big, and just big enough to get a screw through and the post of the hardware through. Probably thread scissors would work better. You'd have a little more control over making these little tiny holes than the big giant cutting scissors I use, but you can try it either way. I'm ready to decoupage. Got my liquid patina poured into a separate container here because I don't want to contaminate whatever's in here. I've got some foam brushes and I put plastic gloves on because I don't want anything I pick up from my fingers to get onto the light fabric. So I've already started just a little portion here and what I've done is just loaded up my sponge brush. Oops, see I got it on the top. That's okay because you want it to come through. So I've already loaded up my sponge brush I'm just working a section at a time. Now this is the same medium I'm using as the top coat so it can get all over. And then I am just stretching it out and pressing it down. And you want it to come through the fabric. You're gonna go back over it with the final top coat. Be sure to just make sure that it's lined up with your holes, okay? And here comes my dog to photo on the video. So we're just going to continue stretching as you go. Do you want to just make sure it's tight on there? You don't need to use a brayer for this because you're not going to get the bubbles and things like you are with, with your decoupaging paper. It's working with fabrics, a totally different situation, much denser, heavier. I see that I have left some on the side that didn't quite get down, so I'm going to go back over that. a little tricky to make sure that again that you get over those holes so your your drawer poles can get through and the good thing is it doesn't set up right away so if you have to remove it just a little bit you can see I'm gonna have to just pull it a little bit okay so we're gonna repeat the same thing with each of them and hopefully we'll have a finished dresser soon so here I am with my finished dresser I am so happy with the end result. Here I have a custom dresser painted with all natural Debbie's DIY clay based paints. I used Debbie's DIY liquid patina not only to seal my dresser but also to decoupage the fabric. Check out redointeriors.com for more information on how to redo your project using DIY paints and check out my website at redointeriors.com and sign up to get the latest junk makeovers right in your inbox.